The sad passing of YSL rapper Lil Keed surprised the entire rap world, not only because of the devastating news of the young rapper, but also the timing of it. As we just watched Young Thug, Gunna, and 28 other members of YSL get raided, arrested, and charged with RICO. Now it's important to know this about Lil Keed. At the start of Lil Keed's career, he worked at Subway and McDonald's in his teenage years, stacking up enough money to afford recording time at the local recording studio right down the street from his Atlanta home. Keed would also record music almost on a daily basis, reinvesting all of the money he made from working part-time into his craft and creating projects. While creating a little buzz in his area, it was when YSL rapper Young Thug visited his neighborhood and heard Lil Keed for the first time. Now this is when the viral video of Young Thug listening to Lil Keed's early music through a vehicle sound system went viral. And it was at this moment, Young Thug linked up with Lil Keed and took his young rap career to the next level. Now Young Thug signed Lil Keed to the YSL label and immediately started working close with Young Thug Young Thug describes Lil Keed as a younger brother, trying to learn the craft and even the ins and out of the business world. Sadly, on May 13th, Lil Got It, a brother of Lil Keed, posted this on Instagram. I can't believe I seen you pass today, bro. I did all my cries I knew you would want me to do, and that's gonna go hard for mom, dad, our brothers, Nature, and White Boy, announcing the passing of Lil Keed on his official Instagram. Now with the reasoning of his passing not being revealed until today, No Jumper writes this, and I quote, Lil Keed complained to his friends and family that he was suffering from serious stomach pain in the days leading up to his passing. Now with things getting so bad that he had to go to the hospital. Now multiple sources close to Lil Keed tell us that the YSL rapper had his battles over the years with drinks and narcotics, but he had been clean and sober as of late. We're told last week that he began experiencing severe stomach pain and even went to the LA hospital to get it checked out. From there, our sources say things got worse. Lil Keed's organs, liver, and kidneys started failing, which then led to his passing. Now, once the passing of Lil Keed hit news headlines, many huge rappers started sharing love for Keed. Zaytoven shared this photo with saying, at Lil Keed, working with you was an honor and a pleasure. Followed by Lil Nar tweeting, rest easy Lil Keed. I can't believe I'm seeing this right now. I'm sick to my stomach. My brother was a good-hearted man. And even with the current Rico case Young Thug's going through, Lil Got It was able to get Young Thug's reaction while inside of jail. Lil Got It posts this by saying, Just talking to Young Thug yesterday. Keed, you messed him up with this one, but we know you guarding him through these times and gonna make sure that he's gonna be all right. We the proud family, nothing can stop us. Now with the passing of Lil Keed happening just a few days after 28 members of YS cell, including Young Thug and Gunna, got arrested for Rico, many people couldn't believe it. Now this viral tweet came out saying, there's no way that Young Thug, Gunna, and most of YSL gets arrested, then Lil Keed passes. Something's going on bruh, YSL is being targeted. Now this made people dig deeper into this theory. New evidence was released just yesterday of YSL rapper Young Thug being wiretapped. Now law enforcement stated during a press conference that there's new evidence of wiretap on the YSL founder, putting out a hit towards YFN Lucci. Now in the evidence files, it states, Garlington and Quantavius, associates of YSL, was speaking over a cell phone to an incarcerated Fulton County inmate, discussed protecting an incarcerated YSL associate from rival team members, Garlington and Quantavius, while speaking over a cell phone to the incarcerated county inmate, discussed going after another Fulton County jail inmate, who had just recently went after a YSL associate while being locked up at Fulton County. Garlington and Quantavius did unlawfully commit the felony offense of conspiracy to possess telecommunications devices by an inmate. But while speaking over a cell phone to the incarcerated county jail inmate, they discussed a plan 
to fly a drone carrying a cell phone beyond the guard lines to a window at the county jail. Now it's no secret that Young Thug is being jailed at Fulton County. And to simplify what this evidence truly means, associates of YSL made a plan to tape cell phones to a drone, then fly them over the fences at Fulton County and deliver them through a window at the jail. Now obviously, law enforcement watched the drone flying in. Rather than stopping the drone and confiscating the cell phones, they actually allowed the cell phones to be used by inmates, and they just secretly wiretapped them to gain information. Now with this super creative police work, law enforcement tapped these phones to gain information about the YSL case. Now this was actually a successful plan. They learned that YSL members, allegedly Young Thug, put out a hit towards YFN Lucci. Now some people believe that with all of the YSL members locked up, Lil Keed was left by himself no YSL members to protect him or watch over him. Now this then ties into what Young Thug's criminal lawyer said, putting out this statement. Young Thug's lawyer filed an emergency motion in hopes of getting him released immediately on bond. Why the urgency? Well, attorney Brian Steele says the YSL honcho is being held in total isolation, in a windowless cement compartment with only a bed and a toilet. He adds that the jail cell has an overhead light that remains on 24 hours a day, preventing Young Thug from getting any sleep. Further, Steele says that Young Thug has no access to the media or opportunity to exercise, shave, or have any human contact and don't get him started on the food menu. According to his attorney, Young Thug is getting a tray of inedible food. Steele included the quotes around the food sarcastically. Now while it sounds like he's basically describing a stereotypical jail cell, Steele says the conditions violate Young Thug's constitutional rights, in particular the 8th and 14th amendments. Now with his lawyer stating that Young Thug has no access to the media or any human contact, his lawyer is demanding better living environments for Young Thug, which in jail, the term better living environments comes with an 8 hour access to the jail phones. As when you're put into the best cell block, meaning the best living environment, there's actually a row of 8 to 10 phones on the wall that the public has access to 8 hours a day. Now with these cell phones, Young Thug could have made arrangements for protection for all free YSL members with active security or having other people look after them. Now again, that part is all a conspiracy theory, but even when you dig a little deeper into this 28 man Rico case, things begin to get more interesting. Now let's continue. The night of May 9th, breaking news was released. Rappers Young Thug, Gunna, and 28 defendants charged in a 56 count indictment in Fulton County. The 56 count grand jury indictment charges 28 members and associates of Young Slime Life, otherwise known as YSL. The indictment includes charges of conspiring to violate the racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations otherwise known as RICO. Young Thug was also charged with armed robbery and participation in criminal street activity. News TV captured this exclusive image of authorities taking Young Thug into custody earlier this evening. Now here's even extra bonus footage of Young Thug getting arrested. Now according to the 56 page indictment, Young Thug is facing charges of participation in street activity, conspiring to violate the racketeer, influence and corrupt organizations known as RICO. Gunna is also facing one count of conspiring to violate RICO. After reviewing the 88 page indictment, there are very serious allegations against Young Thug. In court, prosecutors say that YSL is a criminal street team that started in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta. YSL claims affiliation with the National Red. YSL's founders were Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, aka Slime, then Walter Murphy, aka DK, then Trontavious Stevens, aka Tick. Young Thug is accused of renting a 2014 Infiniti Q50 sedan from the car company known as Hertz. 
Now this car was used in the commission of the passing of Donovan Thomas Jr., a rival street member in January 10th, 2015, according to this indictment. So prosecutors allege the two associates of YSL Christian and Antonio worked to get permission of Young Thug to make a second attempt on YFN Lucci while he was being jailed in Fulton County. Prosecutors say that Sergio Kitchens, otherwise known as Gunna, an associate of YSL, is accused of appearing in a video released on social media titled Fox 5 wearing a YSL pendant in slat pendant. He then added lyrics saying, we got 10 hundred rounds. Law enforcement was quick to raid the YSL mansion, arresting 28 members of YSL once they heard and stacked all of this evidence. Once they were able to find evidence of YSL associate members trying to make a second attempt on YFN Lucci, and then with Gunna saying that he has 10 hundred rounds in a video clip wearing a YSL in slat chain, they were quick to make a move on YSL sell, as they obviously didn't want anything happening to YFN Lucci. But it's very interesting as after 28 members get arrested, with not many YSL members being in the free world at this moment, that young rapper Lil Keed sadly passes. Let us know what you think down below in the comments, it's been District Trending and I'm out, peace.